Hi everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by and watching. Today's card is using Hero Arts Jellyfish Party. Um, it's a bold six by six print. It's their rubber cling stamp and it was an add-on to their card kit for March. So I'm going to prep a piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. It's 110 pound with uh, my anti-static tool. And I'm gonna be using Simon Says Stamp Clear um, embossing ink. It's down really, really good. So I can get a really nice impression. The Misty is wonderful for this. If you didn't get a good impression, um, everything is still lined up. You can re-ink it and move on. But I got a good impression. So now I'm going to use some white embossing powder. And I'm also going to make sure that my heat tool is nice and warmed up before I take it to my paper. Um, it obviously makes it melt quicker, which then in turn, um, the, less, the less heat on your paper, the better, because then it won't warp as much. So we're going to heat that up. And I really loved this jellyfish background. I love anything ocean, so to me it's super exciting. So I'm just using my tool in one and I'm going to hold it down in an open area and just heat it up on my uh, Tim Holtz glass media mat. It's fantastic because you can't ruin it. Um, so because this is all over, um, you don't have to hold it the, or the image is all over the background is what I meant to say. You don't have to hold it and it can get nice and uh, heat it up without burning your fingers because we all know these hot, these tool guns get nice and hot. So that's all done. You can't really see it too much because it's white on white. So now I'm gonna do some inking and I am using spun sugar and dried marigold and I am in love with these colors together. And if you can notice, I'm kind of doing it at an angle and I have left the bottom left corner um, not colored. I kind of wanted it to fade into one another and kind of have that ombre look. So then I flipped the card around and at the top, I am gonna be using the dried marigold. And I'm just using a piece of paper to keep my fingers out of the ink so that way I don't make any fingerprint marks um, on the paper. And I'm not doing this super dark. I really wanted a light background. And kind of what I'm doing is in reverse because a lot of jellyfish you see are kind of pink and orange colors. So I am doing the background to that color and then I'm going to color some of the jellyfish a blue color, which is what you would color the ocean with. So I kind of did it backwards. I am using Tim Holtz Fine Detailer Water Brush Pen for this. What I am doing is all of the jellyfish, I am removing as much of that ink that I just laid on there as I can. I'm just getting it a little bit wet, dabbing it off. It really is quite quick. Um, you could leave the card this way. It still does leave a hint of color underneath. It's just not nearly as dark. So as you can see, as I'm patting that dry, how the color is lifting. Um, you could leave this card just like this when all the jellyfish are uncolored, or you could choose to just take off some of the color. I am taking it off all of the jellyfish, and then I will we will be coloring some of those. But look how pretty that is. I really do love how that turned out. So I am gonna be using uh, Hero Arts Reactive Ink in Sea Glass, and I'm mushing that down onto my glass media mat using the water brush pen and getting it a little bit wet. And how I'm starting is I am using a very light color wash, then I'm coming back in with it a little bit darker and then wiping the excess off onto my paper towel. Um, so quite controlled. I don't want a ton of water on this image, but I do like how, that, how this turned out. So again, laying down a lighter color wash first and then coming back in with the darker shadow parts. It worked out really, really well for me to do that. I love when you can paint with inks. Um, I just think it gives you way more options um, to use your ink rather than just stamping images. So if it gets a little bit too wet, just dab it off and then come back and add a little bit more of this dark color. Um, obviously you could do this with anything. You could do a really light uh, blue background and then change up all the color of the jellyfish. I think that would be pretty too if you had not necessarily like rainbow colored, but you you know, you pick maybe a good three really nice colors that complement each other and, and paint up these uh, jellyfish. I think that would be fantastic. I think this would also be pretty if you um, 
embossed this in maybe a, a nice gold and then took in some really beautiful deep teals and blues and even some purples. You almost have kind of like that peacock color, but I think that would be gorgeous with this. So again, I'm just working around, just kind of picking a few um, jellyfish to do. Um, it's always better if you do an odd number, it is just more pleasing to the eye. I did like that the rest of these looked more white and then you've got these blue ones that just kind of pop and stand out. Um, I think this card is really simple but has a huge impact when you have a background stamp like this. Um, I think that you can really do a lot with it even though it's so simple. So any background stamp, if you've got a floral or butterflies or anything, I think you could absolutely do the same exact technique with any of that to where you're just highlighting um, some of the multiple images that are on this background. So really super pretty, really, I loved this sea glass color from Hero Arts. I think it was gorgeous. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. I am so sorry about my voice, you guys. I have got allergies and it is driving me nutty. <laughs> So we're good there. So now I'm taking Perfect Pearls and I have got a little Mr. Uh, Arranger Mr. and I'm adding some Perfect Pearls. I did end up adding more than what I showed here um, because I wanted to spray this background and I don't know if you guys have ever used Perfect Pearls like this but it gives it such a shimmer um, without it being like glitter. And I'm a girl who loves glitter. I do not hate on glitter at all. Um, but this just gives it a nice really nice shimmer. So I'm spritzing it and then I'm patting it up instantly because what I don't want to happen is any big droplets of water changing that inked background. Because remember we use Distress Oxide inks and we also use that reactive sea glass and I don't want anything to happen to those images. Then I'm just gonna dry it in between with my heat gun and add some more. So you can make this really as, as uh, shimmery as you would like. So I repeated this quite a few times got it dry with my heat tool, make sure there was no big splotches of water and it worked out good. So I'm not sure if you guys can see there, but in the light, it is so gorgeous. I love this look. So here I'm adding some more and, and, and I'm spraying it again because I just felt like I needed a little bit more shimmer in the water. Part of my problem was I realized after I dumped some Perfect Pearls in, I had too much water to begin with. So I'll be using this probably till the day I die. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to, uh, I trimmed that paper down and I'm adding it to a A2 sized mat. Um, Lawn Fawn's Peacock, I believe is what this is, because that brings out that nice color. And then I did a sentiment, you are a fantastic friend. And I did, oh, that's in Lawn Fawn Peacock also, um, their ink, and then that is done. Then I'm gonna add, and before I'm gonna add these little drops. I liked the frame around, super simple, but it needed a little bit something rather than just sticking this directly to an A2 size card base. Um, I felt like it needed that matte to bring a little bit more of that teal peacock kind of color. Now these are the glass bubbles from the kit and I'm just adding about three of those. Um, I don't want to add too much to this card because that background is gorgeous and adding all of that perfect pearls really um, made this card stand out. It's beautiful. So hopefully you guys can see the shimmer and how shimmery it is there, but I just love it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like what you've seen, please thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. I love all of that. All the supplies I used are linked below. Some are affiliate links. It costs you nothing to use, but helps me to continue to create and make these wonderful videos. Thank you guys for your love and support. I appreciate you and I'll be back soon. Bye.